Hi SQL people, welcome to another tutorial from SQL Maestros. For the last few videos, I have been picking up content from our masterclass. Let me show you this masterclass that I delivered a few weeks back. This is one of our most popular masterclasses which we delivered online. This is titled as SQL Server Internals Troubleshooting and Performance Tuning popularly called as SQL Server Performance Tuning Masterclass. 40 hours of deep dive content and precisely more than 500 demos, real world content. We cover the length and breadth of the database engine from a performance tuning perspective. And we do a lot of internals as well, only to the extent which is practically possible, practically required for your production issues on a day to day basis. So if you look at the modules, 14 deep dive modules covering weight statistics, architecture, performance tuning from the perspective of CPU, memory, IO, TEMDB, concurrency, index tuning, query tuning, extended events, baselining, and whatnot. Now, this masterclass was recorded and the recordings are available on sqlmaestros.com. Yes, 40 hours of HD video recordings are available. If you subscribe, you get a lifetime subscription and of course 60% off as well. Lifetime subscription, which means you can watch the content as many times as you want over the next few years. Okay, so you can check out the details on sqlmaestros.com. If you are a fan of live masterclasses and you wish to attend live, you may register for any upcoming session. Just check out the upcoming masterclass schedule. Okay, so what's the tutorial for today? What, what is the content I am picking up from this masterclass today? We are going to discuss and demo the dynamic index seek functionality in SQL Server. This is one of the optimizer operations that we are going to talk about. I cover this in statistics and index internals. Okay, so let's get down to the demo straight away. It's, it's fun stuff. Dynamics index seek is a very, very interesting topic. Okay, let's go and look into this. So I am going to jump into module eight, statistics and index internals. And inside the second folder, two underscore indexes, we have dynamics index seek. All right, here is the file, which is already open in management studio. Now I'm going to show you a shortened version of this. Of course, I don't intend to cover the complete masterclass content in this free video, but yes, I will cover the basics. Now let's use Northwind 2 for the purpose of demo here. Here is a very simple select query. Let's turn on the actual execution plan. You will see we are fetching the order ID from the orders table and our predicate says, give us all the orders where ship postal code is either of these two values. So we are using the in operator and we supply these values separated by commas. Let's go and execute this. When you execute this, you get the output of course and jump over to the execution plan you will see that there's nothing really great about this execution plan, nothing peculiar. What you expected was a index seek. There is a non-clustered index on ship postal code, which is being used, which is being seeked upon, and everything is all good. Now, <clears throat> how does this optimizer, how does the optimizer interpret the in operator here. So the multiple values that you give in your in predicate is internally treated by the optimizer as or predicates, which is where ship postal code is equal to 05022 or ship postal code is equal to 99362, which means these multiple values are nothing but a combination of multiple or predicates. If you take the cursor over, the index seek operator and look at seek predicates here, it will be quite evident here that there are multiple seeks happening here. The first seek is on this one. If you look at one there, and this is the first one, then you see two there, and this is your second one. So now if you have multiple constants out there, right? Multiple values like ship, ship postal code one, two, three, four, you will see seek predicate list getting longer and longer. So this is internally treated as an or predicate and you get a relatively very straightforward execution plan. Now, dynamic index seek functionality. So if there was a dynamic index seek, we could call this as a static index seek, but yeah, there's nothing called static index seek. This is a very straightforward index seek. However, now 
instead of supplying these constants if we use local variables so what we have done we have declared two local variables here ship postal code 1 and ship postal code 2 spc1 and c2 and we supply we put these uh, constants uh, values for these local variables and now instead of putting up constants uh, as multiple values for the in predicate we use local variables how will things change for the optimizer optimizer now let's go and execute this query on the face of it we would expect a similar or the same execution plan but to your surprise jump over to the execution plan you will see a relatively complicated execution plan i mean what what is going on with so many iterators out there now things get a little tricky here when we use local variables first things first the optimizer does not know the value of these local variables until runtime i repeat the value of the variables the values that the variables hold is not available to the optimizer until runtime which means in compile time it doesn't have the values so if it does not have the values there may be a possibility that ship postal code 1 and ship postal code 2 both of these local variables have the same value right let's think about it if 05022 is put here and 05022 is put again here which means it's a duplicate which means a query like this actually could result in duplicate data you could probably get more than what is required you may get duplicate results set this is automatically taken care of when you execute this first version why because these values are known to the optimizer during compile time and a chance of that kind of bug happening is not possible but in this particular case in this particular case the values are not known to the optimizer at compile time so there is a possibility that duplicate data may be returned back by the optimizer so in order for the optimizer to prevent that you get this complicated execution plan let's dive a little deep into the execution plan and try to understand what is the optimizer trying to do so in this extreme right part here let's just go and highlight this one here what you see is the optimizer is doing a constant scan for the two local variables there and is concatenating them and building a what we call as constant table right because you have put these constants as local variables so that is the first thing that is being done then these cons constants that are being scanned are being sorted they are being put next to each other right so the sort operation happens and then the merge interval this is the crux in this execution plan the merge interval will remove the duplicates it's easy, easy to remove the duplicates now because the constants are already sorted by the sort operator so they appear next to each other and the merge interval can easily remove them now you have the unique list available so based on the unique list the optimizer will now seek will perform seek operation on the ship postal code index the non-cluster index once for each unique value which is performed by the nested join here the nested loop so you go seek get the output then join it with the next seek then join it with the third seek so on and so forth so this is what you get and this entire operation that you see on the screen this is termed as dynamic index seek operation it is the same seek that you saw earlier but this time it is dynamic in nature okay so when you go and look into the seek predicate now here you are not going to see the constants but rather you see expressions right which are internally computed of course because the values are not available until runtime okay friends so what you saw was dynamics index seek in action and i just showed you a filler of kind of content we cover in the master class now this is internals part this is not tuning part if i show you the tuning module let's go and go back here and look into index tuning we cover whole lot of stuff in index tuning and likewise we cover a lot of stuff in query tuning also if you're someone who is very serious about performance tuning in sql server you should take a look at the masterclass recordings anyway totally up to you 
how you would like to learn about SQL Server Performance Tuning, we continue to bring you a lot of free content on our YouTube channel and on SQL Maestros, apart from our paid content like video courses, master classes, all in one bundles, etc. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you've learned something new about Dynamics Index Seek and this Index Seek operation. And hope this tutorial was worth your time. Happy SQL. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.